Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Ipsy Unbagging for the month of February, and I want to preface this by saying if I sound really congested, congested, or stuffed up, um, my eyes seem puffy, my allergies are killing me. Um, I actually go to the doctor tomorrow, fingers crossed. But I'm already on two allergy medicines, and my eyes itch so bad. Let me know if you guys have any allergies I and mean, if you have any like natural remedies that you do that really helps or something like that because every year it just gets worse and worse and worse. Um, so yeah, I've never had my eyes itch this bad before and I've never been like this like stuffy and like just congested. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys have any um, help for me because that would be great. Um, without further ado, now that I've explained that, um, let's get into this month's bag. To start off, this is what the bag looks like if you guys are not familiar, which I'm sure you are. Um, Ipsy is $10 a month and a su subscription service that you get to take a quiz and customize the things um, that you want sent to you. So some people think the customization doesn't work and I'm kind of feel the same way a little bit. But I do like getting it. Um, it's only $10 a month and it's nice to just open every month. So I'm going to share this with you guys. Um, I haven't looked at it yet. Um, my first Ipsy unpacking I did where I... Um, already looked at everything and applied it as I went on went on throughout the video. So let me know if you guys like that better or if you would rather me just be surprised with you. Let's get into this. So the first thing you do is you open this and you have your bag. And I have seen this before. Um, I saw it on Instagram. But it's actually a lot cuter than I thought it would be. But it's got the little heart, you know, Valentine's Day and all that. And excuse my nails because they're just a mess right now. And then also in the bag, you get the card that comes with it. This says pretty in hashtag Ipsy Pink. And then it also has like um, information on the back of it in case uh, you want more information. Uh, enter and giveaways and things like that. But the bag, it's like kind of a um, little, what are these called? Like kind of a ribbed um, plasticky effect. It's actually really cool. And then the back is just like hot pink. So the first thing in here that I pull out is the Smashbox new Photo Finish Primer Oil. So I've heard, actually I really haven't heard too much about it. I knew that they had it. Um, it's a pretty tiny size, but with oils you don't really need a lot. So, I mean, that's always good. But it's just a little bitty vial of oil. And I wonder if it has like a dropper or if it's just, I don't think it does because the top doesn't look like it. No, so you just pour it out um, and use it that way. And so, I'm kind of interested to see how you use this guy. It says, our studio's secret for radiant, perfect, perfectly primed skin, on camera and off, creates an ideal canvas for makeup, reduces the appearance of dry, fine lines, increases moisture in just four weeks, use morning and night, let it absorb into skin before applying makeup. And then it has the same directions in a different language. So, that's pretty interesting. So, I like how it says use, use morning and night. Um, but then it says before applying your makeup, so, well, yeah, it says creates an ideal canvas for makeup, so it is a primer oil, duh, but, um, so I'm going to give this a shot. I do have dry skin, so maybe it'll work for me, but I didn't really go and buy the full size without trying it first, so I'm kind of glad that it's actually in here. The second thing that I pull out is makeup, makeup, what? Naked Cosmetics um, Sierra Nevada Mica Pigment. So this is a pigment. Um, the packaging's kind of big for pigment. Very interesting. Okay, well, the plastic's still on there, but I can still open it, so I'm going to do that. I see. Oh, it's a really beautiful brown color. So pretty. I love browns. It's really pretty. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It's a pigment. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, it's obviously like sheared out on my hand, but it just looks like very sparkly, very sparkly pigment. But it has a pretty undertone to it as well. Uh, this is it on my finger. So if you pack it up, you'll probably get this intensity. Um, but if not, then you know you can always shear it out. So I actually um, really like that, and I'm excited to try it. Pigments are messy, but. I haven't really used too many pigments lately. Maybe I'll um, get into that more now. So the next thing is, oh yay! I get so excited for brushes. Like, really? Um, this is a Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush. Um, I actually just hauled one of these from Elf not too long ago. Let me see. 
this one right here, so it's kind of like the same thing, except this one looks like it's like Duo Fiber. That doesn't make sense, Duo Fiber Flat Brush, but it has two different uh, fibers in it, so, or it seems to, but it's also a little shorter and a little bit more dense. So I love, um, I have one Luxie brush that I've gotten in an Ipsy bag before. It's actually this one right here, the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending. I use this all the time, you guys. This is such a standard brush that I have to have when I do my makeup. I love it so much. So this I'm very excited to try out. Let me show you guys. It's just a flat definer brush and I love these for just right under the lash line. So I'm very, very happy with this one. So the next thing is the Chella Passionate Pink Lip Pencil. Um, I think we've gotten something from this brand before. Let me open it. Oh, I can't believe it was that easy to open. It usually takes me forever to open things. So I'm going to swatch this. Oh, it's very um, glossy and like um, really smooth. It's a pretty color too. So I'm excited for this. It um, seems to be like a deluxe sample. And then we have the last thing. Yep. So the last thing in the bag is um, anti-aging lip and hand polish. All natural. Um, it's from Jersey Shore Spa. It says nutrient dense with it, the, the nutrient dense with anti-aging ingredients, vitamin E and jojoba jojoba oil. Oh, English. And then um, yeah, I think I said it already, but it's vanilla bean. It says our anti-aging lip and hand polish is formulated using all natural nutrient dense ingredients that hydrate and exfoliate leaving lips and hands soft, silky, and moisture rich. So it says to apply to damp skin um, and it says first warm gently before dispensing then massage onto lips and hands using a gentle circular motion to exfoliate dead skin cells. Rinse with warm water and pat dry or revealing smoother skin. Notice a remarkable difference in the application of your favorite products. Oh yeah, I did say lip and hand polish. For some reason I was thinking it was a lotion and kind of like, ugh, again. But no, it's a polish. So this is very interesting. Um, I actually have kind of an exfoliating um, hand polish that I'm using right now for um, my hands. I just said hand polish for my hands, yes. That I really love because my hands get really dry because I have such dry skin. It definitely smells like vanilla. I'm kind of like that natural scent, you know? Vanilla and that natural, naturally scent. If that makes any sense. So this is what it um, looks like. It just comes out like that. Oh, I actually really like this. It kind of feels like a sugar scrub, not a salt one. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm supposed to wet my hands first, but I didn't do that. But it's kind of oily. Well, it does say it has oil. Um, but yeah, it's not as like dry and stiff as some polishes I've used. But I really like the one I'm using now, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to compare. Um, but yeah, let's swipe it off. If I can get out, I'd probably be best if I wash my hands and use this, but just kind of get a quick little impression. So, it does feel smoother, but I mean, I don't know, I'll have to use it the way it says, so that's after. So in total, I got five items in my bag, like usual. Um, I actually really like this month's bag, surprisingly. Not that I don't like Ipsy bags, I usually do, but I really like this one. So first of all, this brush is such a standout for me because I love Luxie brushes, and I only have one flat definer brush, so I'm really excited that I have another one. And then we have the pigment, and I'm actually excited to use this. I've never used Naked Cosmetics before, so, and I really love the color. And this and the brush seem to be full-sized. And then, I don't know if this is full size or not, but it's one ounce, and it's the um, hand polish for your lips and hand. So, I kind of like this. I really want to try it out how you're supposed to after dampening your skin. But so far, um, I'm really excited to try this. And then I also have the Chella um, Pink Lip Pencil, Passion Pink. And I actually really like the color, and it seems to be very like smooth um, and glides on really good. So, I'm excited to try this. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm also excited to try this because I do have dry skin and I love using oils um, for my dry skin. So this is a sample and this is a sample for sure. I'm not sure about this being full size or not, but the pigment and the brush are. 
So overall, I'm really happy with this month's box. Let me know down below what you guys got in your Ipsy bag, if you do get Ipsy, and if you got anything that I got, if you like it, if you don't, and if you got something different for me too, please let me know. So that is it for this uh, month's video, this month's Ipsy bag, and I will see you next month with another one. But stay tuned for more videos, and don't forget to subscribe and like to stay in tune with my channel, see when I upload, all that stuff. And don't forget to leave comments down below. I love um, reading your comments and responding and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.